Hi friends, welcome back to Mimi's Mix Bag. Thank you for stopping by. If this is your first video, I encourage you to check out my playlist. I have hundreds and hundreds of little craft projects and little happy gifts and thrift makeovers, and I'm sure you'll find something you like. But those of you that hadn't seen me in a few months, I wanted to say hello, I've missed your comments, and just thought I'd give you a little life update and what I've been up to the last three months. Oh, I normally have very short videos, but today might be a little extra long by the time I catch you up and then show you the cute things I bought. The whole school year, I subbed Mondays and Fridays, and occasionally I would do a third day, but I tell you, the behavior for substitutes is not what it should be a lot of times, and I I needed those in-between days just to recovery if you are in that industry and you know what I'm talking about but uh, but just absolutely love subbing it's the best of both worlds I can work with children and walk out at three o'clock with a smile on my face so I definitely plan on going back next year but I'm looking forward to this summer break but uh, I had a birthday uh, about six weeks ago. Now I'm on the back side of my 50s, and man, that just hurts to even say it. We had a wonderful dinner with friends, and we went to an escape room. If you've never been to an escape room, uh, that's something that's so much fun. It's a little pricey, like 25 per person in most areas. I mean, it was just something fun to do with a large group of people. That was so much fun back at the end of March. Still have my little mobile craft party business. I actually have paid for some advertising on Facebook and got lots of exposure, lots of inquiries and messages and asking me, you know, questions about my service. But I have found that most people love craft nights. They love to participate. The problem is they don't want to host one. You know, a lot of people uh, don't want to clean their house and, and host parties, no matter what it is. So some people just don't like to do that. And I understand that. So I'm thinking about maybe restructuring my business to, you know, cover the cost of renting a public facility and doing it like that, maybe seasonally or something. I did have a craft night in the last three months that I did not share. That's one of the first craft nights. All the times I've been doing it, I've never shared, uh, but we did a springtime painting with rain boots and flowers it was a lot of fun i was a little rusty in the in facilitating a craft night so i really did it to kind of refresh my um, ability to host a craft night and then all my friends uh, participated and, and got to take home a, a fun painting. I'll insert a picture here of our craft night but it was a lot of fun. Another thing I've done recently with a friend is I created a local community creative circle at our community center in town. We call it Happy Fingers so if any of my local friends happen to watch this and you're free on Wednesdays please join us. We would love more the merrier. Some of us do paper crafts, some of us crochet or knit or whatever you've got and we just sit around and visit and talk and stop and eat lunch and it's just a, a socialization for people who you know may not have a lot of close-knit friends and things so it was just something that my friend and I wanted to start up and so we've really enjoyed each other's company for the last several weeks. The next thing I did was a couple friends and I went to Murfreesboro, Tennessee to a fun painting seminar. The, the seminar was hosted by Middle Tennessee artist and taught by a beautiful, talented high school friend of mine that lives just outside of Atlanta, Georgia. She is a creative consultant for Deco Art. And I mean, she is living the crafter's dream job, but she is so talented. You know, we had to pay to attend. The paint and canvases were furnished, but we had to bring um, our brushes and just our supplies. It was a three-day seminar, and every day was a different project, but this was the Saturday. I'm gonna pull it back here uh, so you can maybe see. It's, it's like a 10 by 16 canvas. I don't think it'll fit in the frame. It took us all day, like from nine to four, to paint this. She took us step by step. My two friends and I that went, we were super intimidated to even go because we thought we would just be surrounded by these phenomenal artists, but you know, we were 
totally welcomed these ladies just welcomed us right in and sandy went step by step i'm going to put sandy's information below she has a paid membership group and she is just a phenomenal teacher she is just so passionate about what she does and and just loves to teach from the basics all the way up to advanced we did this mason jar of sunflowers and i did 95 percent of this she did touch up a couple of my flowers and honestly you may not can tell but I'm not finished with it yet. I just hadn't stopped and took the time to finish some of the little details that I need to do. So please check her out. She does these seminars all over the country in different uh, decorative artist groups and through deco art. She does all kinds of, you know, conventions and things, but I encourage you to check her out. And she has a YouTube channel uh, and she shares lots of fun things on there. But I just love my picture and I've got it hanging on my wall and it's not even finished and so that was one of the my most favorite things I did in the last three months and the last thing I, I want to share with you is something I'm doing for myself uh, last week I got a card in the mail uh, from my insurance company and it's Blue Cross Blue Shield so uh, the reason why I'm telling you this is so that in case your group plan uh, may offer something like this as well but it was called live to go I'll put the name on the screen and it's a diabetes prevention program and certain people meet the criteria I guess it's your age and your weight and family history and whatnot and it's one-on-one -on -one coaching for food and health and exercise and filled out the thing they mailed me a smart scale now I already had a smart scale where you it was attached to an app and you step on it and it tracks your weight and things like that but this is the logo of that program live to go it may be backwards on the screen i hooked it up and everything i have an app that goes with it and i log my food and i just started it today is i got my base weight and then like every two weeks i can schedule a 45 minute consultation with a health coach so i and it's all it's costing me nothing extra so I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure I'm paying for it some way or the other, but it is just, I think it's going to be a wonderful program. And by me answering to a stranger and stepping on that scale, you know, my steps on my iWatch are connected so they can see how much I'm walking. They can see what I'm eating when I log it in and they can check my weight. So they are keeping everything in check and then you know, it's just helping me stay accountable. So I'm really hoping this live to go is going to be my ticket to success. So we'll see. My goal is to lose 35 pounds. It's still considered morbidly obese, but I've got to lose 35 pounds to get where I want to be because I have a cruise coming up in November with all my Bunko girls. And so that's going to be a blast. So that is my summer plan to get ready for it. But the last part of this video, I wanted to share with you a little clothing haul. Now, if you're a big YouTube watcher, I know you've seen these Timu videos everywhere of people sharing gadgets and craft supplies and things like that. I have had dozens of orders from them. I know there's a lot of controversy over this company being from China and all this stuff, but the way I see it is that everything we do is at risk. I've had nothing but positive experience from this company uh, on down to communication as far as tracking my orders and I've gotten some great things. Now I'm not saying they are high-end you know quality product but I've gotten some great little gadgets and jewelry. They are the quality I expected because I have ordered shirts from these uh, overseas type places before. I got eight shirts and two pair of earrings for $50 and I was just quite Quite impressed I went by their sizing chart I got one shirt that's a little snug but the rest of them are almost too big so I wanted to be safe than sorry and so I don't know if they will draw up or not I bought all these with my own money you download the app and you get 30% off your first order now before we get started I just thought I'd give you a little reference as far as the size I am I'm 5'9 so I'm a pretty tall long person but I usually wear an extra large to a 1x X and everything. One X's sometimes are a little too broad in the shoulders. I can wear those or 16 to 18, something like that. Now over my clothes, 
my chest area measures about 42 inches so I use that number as my guide on their sizing guides and really most of the shirts were too big that I've ordered but they'll be fine and maybe they might even draw up just a little bit so I will tell you the size I ordered and how much I paid for them all right the first shirt is this kind of striped animal print it's just straight across him at the bottom short sleeve and most every shirt I got was v-neck I paid five dollars and eight cents for this one and it's a 2x and it's just a little too big I probably could have easily worn a 1x but it may draw up some but love this one for five bucks can't beat it all right this next one v-neck I paid 667 for this one and this is the only one that was just a little snug i mean i could certainly wear it but it fits more like an extra large versus a double x large but cute floral sleeves of course the photography they use i don't know how they do it but it looked a lot better on the app than it does in person but it's kind of a silky type material but it's still cute i'll still wear it with some little blue capris or shorts or something but this is probably my least favorite one but for 667 it was still a good buy all right this one was actually an extra large and i really should have gotten an extra large in most all of them i think that just fits me a little better but this is straight across him i love the little detail on the sleeves now the color on the app was almost a chambray a darker blue but this really is baby blue is what i call it so that's the only difference i see once i saw it in person but i love the little crisscross accent on the v-neck but super cute for eight dollars and 17 cents all right this one right here this one's a 2x i love the little animal print trim v-neck love the colors even with me being tall this one's extra long straight across him now my mother always told me that that's a sign of cheap clothes is when the stripes don't line up in the back but i can't see it so it's not gonna bother me but this one you know i probably could have used a 1x as well it may draw up but for less than eight dollars it's super cute for the summer all right this next pink v-neck short sleeve i paid 5.98 for it just really cute it says it's a 2x same size as the previous one but this one just fits a whole lot better it's like it could be kind of hit or miss but i went by the sizing chart and just super cute for the summer straight across him 5.68 all right the next one is just solid navy blue everyone needs a solid navy blue shirt in their closet this one has kind of a rounded hemline it kind of scoops up the sides just a little bit i don't know if you can't tell it kind of rounds just a little bit this one is a 2x i definitely could have used an extra large or large um and i've and i've shown this style of shirt from amazon before and but they're not this cheap i paid 887 for this one uh, this one will go with a lot of stuff and just a good staple piece all right the next one is a white floral really pretty roses on there i'll be honest with you the the picture on the app made it look a whole lot prettier in person but i don't dislike this one i i was going by their sizing chart and i I picked a 3x because of the measurements but here again this one's just kind of uh, almost too big but not enough to where I can't wear it the hemline is scooped and it's the same exact cut as the navy blue one but it was from a different seller or something is the reason why I didn't order the same size I was going by their sizing chart but this is really cute we'll go with some pink shorts or green capris or whatever I like it it's less than nine dollars all right last but not least this is my very last one it's kind of got some bell sleeves it's got a little ruffle on the sleeves um it's showing i paid 14.47 but i would have sworn i paid 12 something for this one like i said it was the most expensive one it's rounded neck but i love the mixed print um these are the earrings i bought 
I got a white pair and a turquoise pair. These were $1.34 each, and so can't beat that. I got this one in a 1X. And the only thing I, I'm not super crazy about is the fringe looks a little cheap, but you know, if I wear it a few times, I'm over it. It doesn't matter if I paid $5 or $50. Um, I only want to wear them a few times anyway. I'm overall happy with what I got. I think most all the shirts were pretty much true to size. Just measure yourself, use the sizing chart, and I think you'll be fine. And I've also read reviews that their return process is not bad at all. So I encourage you to use my link. Get 30% off your first purchase if you've never used them and I hope you enjoyed just seeing some of the fun summer shirts I bought and my total bill was actually $56 for eight shirts and two pair earrings. I'll be back real soon with something fun to share. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.